Let's kick things off with big news about the speaker race in Congress. After spending three weeks on the dating scene, Republicans are finally swiping right, <laughs> far right. Breaking news out of Washington, House lawmakers finally elected the next Speaker of the House. After 22 days, 14 candidates and four nominees, House Republicans united to elect Congressman Mike Johnson of Louisiana, the new Speaker of the House. Republicans finally named conservative Congressman Mike Johnson. And uh, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. America's new Speaker of the House is some dude named Mike Johnson. <laughs> I'll be, be honest, that sounds like the name you give a hotel when you're checking in after having an affair. <laughs> hey, uh, my, my name is, uh, Mike Johnson. <laughs> you rent rooms by the hour? <laughs> now, if you don't know Mike Johnson, don't worry. Nobody else does. <laughs> but what we do know is that he wants nationwide limits on abortion. <laughs> he wants to criminalize gay sex. <laughs> And he even wants to ban reggaeton. <laughs> All right, I'm lying on the last one. <laughs> but that seems like his vibe because he comes off as a dick. <laughs> and the one other thing people know about this dude, he was one of the main guys trying to steal the election for Donald Trump. <laughs> but apparently he doesn't want to talk about that anymore. Johnson is a staunch Trump ally who recruited Republicans to sign on to efforts to overturn the 2020 election. I asked him if he stands by that vote. Johnson, you helped lead the efforts to I saw that reaction, I was like, damn, that was a lot. But then I learned the reporter who asked the question was black. Oh. Then it started to make a little more sense. Especially when I found out the shut up lady is named Virginia. <laughs> and she represents North Carolina. Oh. That's a lot of Southern heritage right there. I bet you she was born in some small town named Plantationville or something. Where was she born? Oh. oh. Oh, she from the BX? Mm. Wow. BX all day? Wait. Yo. I remember her. Yo! Yo, she used to be on the block. That's Jenny from 149. Yo! We went to high school together. She got old as shit. Oh, man. I'll see you at the reunion, though. All right, enough, enough. Let's move on to a story about one restaurant that's finally had it with you and your loud ass kids. The restaurant charging customers a new fee. It's a bad parenting fee. The menu at a restaurant in Georgia lifts a surcharge for adults, quote, unable to parent. Yikes. One customer was charged $50 for their kids' behavior. Critics of the policy say children are unpredictable, but supporters say it keeps parents in check. I don't understand why this is necessary. We already have restaurants where you can go and there's no kids there. It's called strip clubs. <laughs> No, I'm for real. Check out Pumps and Bushwick. They got the best warm sushi in New York City. Of our real sushi boys out there. But if they are going to do this, they should charge you based on what your kid did. Is your kid throwing french fries? 10 bucks. Is your kid putting their mouth on a ketchup bottle like it's their mama's city? 20. Is your kid not really doing anything, but he just keeps staring at my table like a creepy ghost? 50 bucks. So I fully support this. It's almost as good as my idea to keep kids in line. This lady. <laughs> Problem solved. 